Good morning everyone. In today's video I will be talking about Dynamo user interface and this is the fifth video in my course uh, Dynamo for beginners. In today's specific lecture I will be talking about making uh, you know uh, or explaining sorry the Dynamo interface and the, the welcoming screen that you can see whenever you started uh, Dynamo you're gonna get this window and it's very uh, basic uh, or self-explained it's have a new here to create new file and the custom node uh, to create uh, it's a custom node like it's very it's very simple to AutoCAD block or uh, Revit family it's a small piece that later on you can repeat it and use it in any other types of uh, Dynamo files and I'm gonna no, don't worry about it I'm gonna explain that in, in next lectures in, in, indeed uh, for us, the majority of work will be start by creating a new uh, file. Open, of course, will open a previous work, and that it might be uh, empty in your case if you start up Dynamo for the first time. But this will show you the previous work you have saved and where it is. If you just hover above, as I do now, uh, have a look at the right side here. It's full with very useful, important uh, references. Lots of forum, lots of. Uh, uh, Dynamo websites uh, dictionary here is really important so if you can click on it um, I'm afraid actually to click on it I just um, repeating the recording process uh, I think for the third time each time I click on one of those link uh, something uh, I think the voice software the software recording software lose the voice so I can't sadly I cannot show you the links but it, the, the dictionary is very beautiful because it, it give you every command you have and a, a very basic explanation of it what's the input what's the output and a picture some example videos are useful dynamo premium which is my main reference for today so have a look at it it's, it's got everything almost about dynamo and the github uh, it's really really important lots of good guys there if you have a question you can answer them uh, you can ask them and they're going to answer you uh, quickly so go ahead for new and that's the main user interface so if you have a look uh, uh, that's uh, that's again the welcome screen and that's my 2.2 uh, I think uh, yeah 2.02 uh, the types of Dynamo or version of the Dynamo I use uh, the welcome screen uh, sorry the main user interface or UI uh, basically divided into five pieces and the top part, or the biggest one which is this this guy here the work uh, space and the menus up there, uh, toolbar, I don't know why they actually separate them. Just an open, uh, sorry, new, open, save, undo, and redo. I think it's self-explained. Uh, the library, which all over here, the execution button, which is this guy. And that's it, the five parts. I highly advise you not to close the gap like this. Keep an eye on whatever you do in Revit, especially specifically if you are creating geometry. And yet you're gonna need sometimes to right click and hit cancel in case Dynamo goes you know crazy and it will be by the way it have lots of uh, uh, you know sometimes errors and the best way is just simply right click and hit cancel to fix them I wish it happened this type of bug bugging thing and mistaking thing so I can it's actually a bug and uh, just take it easy don't try a hundred percent to explain everything. Uh, when uh, something bad happened in Dynamo, sometimes just you need to right click and, and hit cancel. Anyway, so uh, I think that's it about the division here we have. In, uh, in the first part, which is the main workspace, uh, it's the biggest part, of course, of Dynamo. And it's the, here, the overall, uh, you know, uh, window opened. And in it, whatever you design, whatever you can, if you have a go and create a geometry and place a point, and I'm going to try in detail later on to explain the, the process of making and connecting. Anyway, so when I created the node, just click, and it's happened to appear here, and then immediately in the background, you know, as a, as a, as a, um, uh, as a chart or as a node appeared here, and immediately as a background it give me the result of my inputs uh, of my uh, node so it have those inputs on the left and have the output on the right and immediately you see it in the background but the beauty thing is you have to go with you are either looking with the nodes mode or graph mode when you zoom in and you push the mouse in uh, upward and downward it's going to zoom in and zoom out or click continuously on the scroll to make the pan thing or you click on the background mode where you can you know 3d rotate and see 
whatever 3D uh, or 2D geometry you create. So you get the habit of jumping between the graph and the 3D background button so you can you know see whatever you created and then go back to the node that actually created them. This dude if you select it and then you go this it's like a zoom fit to make whatever you select as big as the screen and that's a zoom in and zoom out and that's a punch really they need to you know really they need to make more efforts on developing the way in the navigation actually happen uh, this dude here it can take a picture of the screen uh, I think either the background and the foreground again I can't press and show you I tried that in the previous time when I was recording this video and it's end up very bad by crushing the voice for the whole video and I have and here I am repeating it again and it's the same function here if you go to file you can export the workspace as an image and in it you're gonna get the result only the nodes or the graph without the background and in this dude it get only the 3d background only the geometry it's useful to separate them by the way as you may need to give the result for your client but not the nodes you know so he doesn't know how you created them so in the file I'm talking here in the menus uh, in the file you get new so you either creating a new uh, uh, a new uh, original sheet or a custom node as I explained open open recent save and save as I'll skip on that of course I'm gonna give you the important one not all of them and I also explain those two things in here to export the result as an image and exit to close of course and in Dynamo you usually work with one you know file sometime it allows you to open more than uh, file but they are usually gonna be a custom node not an original uh, Dynamo node in the edit uh, you're gonna find undo redo copy and paste self explained uh, create note that might be useful so you can remember again it's very basic please uh, Autodesk develop that and when you click click on that you can simply uh, you know write the note like let's say uh, making a point here so and you hit accept okay so you can uh, make the, the a note so you remember that the whole thing is actually in order to make a note. Uh, if you just select the note and hit control and move your hand, you're going to make copies. And anyway, uh, sometimes you need to select all those because they're going to be really complicated with the point that connect them and just connecting in a wrong way, I know. And then uh, you go edit and then you go group. Here, create a group. And then double click on that and give it, you know, making uh, a point. And that will help you, you know, to organize your work. Uh, you can hit right click and you can change the color. You can do, you can give every uh, group of nodes a specific uh, color and uh, each group, sorry, you can give it a different color and make it like, like a code, for example, for point blue, for 3D geometry, yellow, and so on and so on. So whenever you look, you understand not by reading the text but by looking at the color you know that each part of your work what uh, it actually does uh, what else ungroup of course it's gonna cancel the group process uh, create custom node later on we're gonna use that you select and you'll make your own uh, like a block again select all self explained and deselect of course sorry delete I don't know why if you select something and hit delete it, so, uh, oops it doesn't work as you can see and you have to select if you want one or more and you go ahead and you select uh, uh, delete selected or you can select individually and right click and remove I think they need to develop that too aligning things yes and if you have things messed up you can just select them and hit align to the left and you can see they are you know in a better way sometimes things again get really complicated and lots of things connected to each other and you need dynamo to organize it for you just hit edit and then you go uh, clean nodes and you know, arrange them in a way really beautiful you know and as short and as close as possible if you want uh, for view zoom in in and zoom in out hold that pan i'm gonna skip on that uh, connection if you want to change the connection type to lines or polyline or curve I'm not really interested in that package uh, if you hit packages 
Uh, again, uh, need more development Autodesk in that. It's well, sometimes when you search by a name directly, you don't find it. And better way to go and you know change from the most recent uploaded or the name to downloaded one in order to see. So don't get frustrated if you write something you want and you didn't find it. Just change the way it's been sorting and then whatever you feel okay, just click and download it. Uh, that and it will be appearing in the library soon setting skipping those two things that important to decide the precision you have how many points and how many sorry zeros of the after the, uh, the point uh, rendering precision I wouldn't change that it can give you better higher quality but not what really you're gonna expect geometry scaling is really really important and for me I work in metric meters so if you look it's really beautiful because it can give me even into one millimeter and less and I'm not gonna go more than 10,000 meter as a unit if you are working with millimeter this is very wrong because this is not suitable for you because you can if you want to hit or make 20 meters or 20,000 it will be above the limit so you have to go and hit large and in this one work in millimeter and never try to work with millimeter in it anyway for us in this course I'm gonna fix on medium and I'm gonna use met metric meters only uh, what else uh, yep isolation it's really nice something you sometimes you need to select a 3d and hit it and it's gonna like make the rest just keep it it's keep it only on the screen and the rest of it will be you know uh, rest of the 3d geometries will be height uh, skipping on this one this is important to keep it checked because it allow you to see this bubble uh, it's really nice uh, skipping the rest help again that can give you whatever we talked about about the references and dictionaries and some resources to study and the refinery here if you reach a level to to launch the refinery service and make uh, Autodesk uh, generative design uh, launch uh, sorry refinery calculate for you the possibilities uh, of your design too early for that guys for now uh, what else uh, that's for the menus toolbar I think they are self-explained libraries two parts the default one here and the add-on so whatever you install in the package here it's gonna be showing you know let me just close the whole thing it's gonna be shown here so whatever I have here will be different uh, from what you have on your screen because it depend on the custom node you created uh, sorry the packages you you created and the custom node for example that's a come from a custom node that I create I create my playlist or my library and that's for uh, you know whatever I install from the packages so that might be different from what you got guys or freak out and again when you want to specific category you select the geometry category and you open it and each one of them have a subcategory when you select it it again have some <clears throat> sorry methods and attributes so for example if I follow whatever there geometry and then points as a subcategory point you have three things or three again sub subcategories the one with the red uh, sorry the green cross is to create things so they are creator you know you can identify them by plus creating a new thing action one usually like they do something not creating something from nothing like extend like the modifiers like extend like trim like split while well, the question mark one are the query one or the attribute depend on where you study that and they can give you uh, the properties of the point like the x-axis or the y-axis and so on and they are actually completely different it depend on the class they are all belong to but you really need to remember guys you know the names and the shapes of them usually the creator uh, are really the most important one usually you can identify them by the word by you see by coordinate by line by whatever again when you create something a node will be when you click on something the node will be appeared here if you don't know what it does just hover above the name and it can give you a good indication of the inputs for example the point by coordinate the input you need x and y and the output will be the point itself and a description you can find it that it create a, a point from the next and y blah 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 all the detail you know 
you can see here the same thing if you click on the point itself you can get the same thing if you have above that I think it's more detailed you can see here the text thing in the lower part if that's how you can on that's the formula you can use it in in, in dynamo and Python sorry and what's the input it's actually required in the meaning of each one of them <clears throat> So the execution button, and it's the small thing here down. In the beginning, it's okay to keep automatic, but I highly advise you to switch it later on to manual. So wherever you change, you know, you can hit run, and you can see, you know, I can hit run again, but run already started. So what happened? See, now it happened. Now the crazy thing that I was talking about in the beginning happening because the run button should be always available for you to click on it. Now it's not. And you're going to keep crying all the time trying to figure out what's wrong you've done and what's happened and what's the mistake. It's nothing. It's just Dynamo need to keep, go to back to Revit, right click. You see this? You see this cross thing near my cursor? It shouldn't be there. So just right click, hit cancel, and everything will return normal to its normal condition here back in uh, in Dynamo. Hit run, it's gonna apply whatever you've done. So whenever you think, th whenever you think something is wrong, just think here, right click and hit cancel. And that might be really a lifesaver comment for you. Yep, and that's why, uh, uh, again, why I keep it manual, maybe I forgot to explain because it allow you to do the run whenever you want because sometimes the geometry is really complicated and each change it might need a couple of minutes and sometimes hours to be performed and if you are changing thing with a slider and you add something and you want to change the value like this okay this process it might you know be sufficient to give you a good crash and getting everything, getting yourself thrown on the desktop without anything saved. So, because Dynamo keep changing, keep trying to change the 3D geometry and also send the information to Revit to change whatever you did. Uh, each click here or each jump need a couple of minutes, ending up a crash. So fix the number, like you want 40, just write 40. And when you are happy, hit run. I highly advise you to get away from the automatic when your work get a little bit complicated. Uh, what else? Search a mechanism. That's the last thing. You can search for anything you want, as I said by writing its name here. Don't be frustrated if you did not find it, like cube, and suddenly you hit I by mistake and everything goes. So you have to be very careful with the spelling. And again, sometimes, sometimes, it's very rare. Even when you write the name, you can't find it. Sadly, you have to hit the cross here and you have to open the category that you think it belongs to it and then you find it manually a bit annoying i know or you can right click here in the thing in the workspace and write sorry right click and then you go python for example and you click on the python to get the node so either you right click and search you search here or you search from the side library by opening each category to find whatever you find whatever you want Anyway, the references, again, have a look at them, specifically Dynamo Premier. I wish that you find this lecture, guys, useful. Thank you very much for watching me, and have a good day. Bye-bye.